9.15 on a Saturday morning. It's the wedding day for my friend Ben and Catherine. I only brought one shirt with me, which is thankfully my wedding shirt, which is great, but I have no other shirts to wear. I'll have like a t-shirt, I'm not wearing the same shirt I just do. I think I'm really sweaty and horrible. But I literally don't have any other tops. I brought four pairs of jeans. Oh, just, I'm not a good packer. I am terrible at packing. So I am going back to Fleetwood, where I grew up, because my parents are just outside, to get myself a couple of shirts, a nice shirt for tomorrow. So Katie and I are staying out in the hotel, and I'm also mainly heading out because I'm gonna fly the drone for you guys. <laughs> shopping centre doesn't open until 10 which is a nightmare so kind of had to go out and fly the drone so I've got a good 10 minutes of footage gonna change the battery now it has been raining a little bit but those passing shots are just amazing I love doing those Done. Three new shirts for 40 quid. Can't say fairer than that. So, in a cab on the way to the wedding. It's not raining yet, thankfully. Checked into the hotel, so just, isn't my day absolutely beautiful. Ah, uh, I will survive, ideal song for a wedding. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us. Now it's often said that people from the north have a really good sense of humour and you've got to think that when they came up with the town motto for Fleetwood it was definitely tongue-in-cheek because the motto is onward okay the one thing you can't do in Fleetwood is go anywhere it's on a peninsula there's water on three sides of it there is one road in one road out and um, yeah unless you've got a boat there's nowhere else you can go but it's still where I'm from, and I'm very proud of it. Very proud of its football team. Very proud um, of the connections I have to it. Yesterday was really good. Excellent wedding. I'm sure you enjoyed those highlights. Um, suffering a little bit today, if I tell the truth. And just out with Katie and the kids, just uh, going to there on the park around the back, and uh, just taking in the sea views, the fresh air, and the lovely weather.
as promised, it's Q&A time, so I thought I'd answer one question here, and then I'll do the rest when I'm back at my parents' house. And the first question, I can't remember who it came in from, so I'll put it on the bottom here, sorry, uh, blame the uh, hangover, uh, but it was talking about Logic and Pro Tools. The reason it came into my mind was, um, I was discussing with an engineer yesterday at the wedding, John, who's a friend of mine from way back, and he kind of still uses Logic himself, he had the same uh, basis, as I was sending the vlog video about Logic versus Pro Tools, with Logic, if you, I do, again, find that musicians tend to use Logic, engineers tend to use Pro Tools, but I think they use Pro Tools because it's just what they've always used, not necessarily because it's the best software program. But people argue and do kind of, I like this, they like that. It's a personal preference, I've got to say. I have to say, as I said in the other vlog, I've got Pro Tools, I hate it. I just, it just doesn't work for me. I'd far rather work in Logic. The workflow is better, the user experience is better. But if other people are using that, lots of people use PCs. You know, you might be watching this on a PC, you might be watching it on an Android phone. Not, wouldn't be my choice, but you know, my choices are my choices, your choices are your choices. It doesn't make necessarily one or better than the other. It's just that that works for me. So uh, that's the answer. Next question. Question from Mr. Jazzaphone says, hey, he's new. He didn't know if I'd done a video on read selection with mouthpieces. He's bought a JJ Jet and used a 3M Select Read. What would be the best option for read? Um, thanks for the question. Really, it's entirely up to you. It's, it's such a personal thing, a read choice. I find that Select Jazz work for me, but as if you've watched other, go back and watch some of the other vlogs, you'll know that I'm alternating often between filed and unfiled depending on the mouthpiece, depending on the read. I would say as a rule of thumb, try and make sure you get a read that offers you a good chance to get the bottom notes, especially on tenor sax. Um, don't, you know, if you go too hard, it can often be too resistant. I hope I'm not moving the camera while I'm doing all this. Be often too resistant. You kind of need a read that's going to enable you to achieve those long tones at low down with ease. Cat Foden asked me, am I still happy with my ring doorbell? Yes, definitely, really handy, especially when I'm away. I can check, I can see what's going on, I can, you know, talk to delivery drivers as they drop stuff off. I didn't, I actually missed yesterday's delivery, but it was great to know that I saw him deliver it to my neighbor because I don't know what it's like in other countries, but certainly in this country, there is occasionally issues with uh, drivers and saying they've delivered and they haven't delivered, so I really enjoyed the ring doorbell. Bass Players Guild said, is there a particular vinegar you use or prefer? Uh, on most dishes, I prefer to try and use a um, red white wine vinegar um, or a white wine vinegar, uh, but uh, good old malt vinegar is great on your chips. I know you're asking me about. Um, I'll wait for the ambulance to go past. This is on the How to Clean Your Sacks vlog. Um, I guess I should have used not the malt vinegar, the clear white vinegar uh, for doing that next. But it, it works and I don't do it very often, like I said in that episode again, kind of twice a year maybe. Grant Michael asked me a really good question, he said, hi Dan, great videos, I'm just starting to play sax, I didn't start on the alto, I thought I could handle more weight being on the tenor, so far so good, what are the benefits of starting out on alto in terms of dexterity? Um, hi Grant, welcome to the channel. There isn't an awful lot, and I started on tenor sax anyway when I was 10 years old, so there isn't a huge amount of difference there uh, to a certain extent, and I would say that if you start on tenor, from personal experience, you tend to have a better, um, well, I have felt that I have a good sound on alto because I've had to learn how to get air through a tenor sax for so many years. Most people find it easier for three reasons on an alto. Number one, it tends to be cheaper. Number two, they're lighter. Number three, there's more of them and that's, there's no other difference really. It mostly is the, the weight and the cost issue. That is just about all I've got time for on today's vlog. I will be back later this week again with a more saxophone orientated vlog. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Um, I hope the vlog makes some sense to you. If you don't already, please hit that subscriber button because it makes a huge difference to the facilities and the things that I'm able to offer you as my uh, viewers. And don't forget, if you are the 3000th subscriber, there's going to be free CDs and loads of other goodies on the way to you. And I hope to smash the 5000 barrier by the summer. Now, I'm approaching my 200th vlog episode and it would be amazing if I could break that 3,000 barrier before I get to 200, but we'll we'll see what happens. As I've said in other vlogs, it's been 
uh, for me, the big realization of this last year is seeing how YouTube is actually a social network versus just a place to dump videos of your band. So I, I love answering all your questions. I love the interaction. Guys, please keep the emails coming in. And I love the fact that there are so many positive people out there. You know, on YouTube, the comment section can often be a bit challenging, especially if you're a creator. But kind of all the positive vibes, all the comments that keep coming through from people all over the world, whether you put them public or you just send them privately, means so much to me. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you very, very, very soon.